enough to have my very own uh, very humiliating experience dealing with stand-up comedy a couple of weeks ago. And um, it was uh, the time that I single-handedly ruined the benefit gala for Veterans Against War. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, just a couple weeks ago. So my friend, my friend, um, booked me for this thing. It was a, it was a stand up, it was a, a benefit gala for two organizations, Veterans Against War and uh, Emergency USA. And Emergency USA is sort of like Doctors Without Borders. They build uh, hospitals in war-torn countries, things like that. So I was like, yeah, of course I'll do it. That sounds awesome, right? So I get there, and it's this beautiful, the, for, the first, I think it's the Fourth Presbyterian Church downtown. They built this multi-million dollar complex, like right next door. It's this beautiful place. And I get inside, and the tables are, are done up so beautifully, you know, with the tablecloths and everything. And um, and I and uh, my friend friend was there, and uh, she tells me, oh, I'll tell you what you're doing in a second. So I'm kind of getting my bearings, looking at the beautiful tables, and they have their they have beautiful flower arrangements. But all the this should be my first sign, really, is that all the food was like really there were like baby carrots with like no dip. And uh, like Triscuits and like Colby Jack cheese. <laughs> like that was it, right? There was like nothing else. And um, and I told my friends about this later, and they were like, "Oh my God, Midwestern Gala!" And I was like, "Yeah, it totally was a Midwestern Gala." So here I am, the Midwestern Gala. My friend comes up to me and she tells me, "Okay, so there are three acts booked tonight for the entertainment. We're going to go up about halfway through the show, uh, about you know eight o'clock." And um, so she says, so she tells me that I am one of three. I am the only stand-up comic of the evening, and yeah, wait, just wait for it. And, uh, and I'm sandwiched between two other acts. The first act is a girl who is playing the ukulele who has never played in public before, <laughs> and then a guy who writes these gay anthems. And we'll get to that later. So, um, <laughs> so I'm the only, I'm the only uh, stand-up. So I'm like, okay, sure, whatever, it's fine. Um, so I sit down and then they start the evening and the MC is like this woman who's like, she's like 70 years old if she's a day. She's clearly never even held a mic before in her life. She was like, somebody told me I needed to get on this thing and, and do this. So she's MC, right? There's not, a, there's not a laugh for the first 45 minutes of this whole goddamn thing. And the whole time, I'm going like, I'm the only one. She's like thanking people and nobody's clapping. <laughs> like, this is not good, right? So she's like, so I'm sitting there going, woo! gets up and he is the one from Emergency USA, the war-torn country's hospital guy. He gets up and he does his presentation and he shows a video of open heart surgery for a girl in the Sudan. Right? It's really sad and really graphic. I had to like take out my baby carrots. I was like, I don't know what this. most of these people are like nurses and vets, like they've seen it all, right? I'm just like, oh, okay. So I'm like, okay, all right. So that's the first presenter, all right. So then uh, that happens, and then the, set, the, late, the MC gets up and she's like, let's bring up the second presenter. Second presenter gets up, and this is the guy from Veterans Against the War. So he also shows a video. He shows that video of, you know, that, that, um, the NATO uh, protest where everyone's getting up and like hurling their, me their fucking medals. It's like, you know, more power to them, right? But it's definitely like not funny. Right? I was like, oh shit, man, this is like some serious shit. And I was kind of like, yeah, this is great. Go, you know, fight the power. And I was like, somebody save me. And um, so then, all right, th that happens. And then he says that one third of all women in the military are sexually assaulted. And then a girl gets up who is a vet who's been in the military, and she was sexually assaulted. And she gets up, she starts telling her story. And she's crying, you know? And I'm like ready to cry, because I'm like, oh my god, this is really not funny. <laughs> it's like, nothing funny about that, you know? Oh my god. So then I'm like, oh my god, like I don't know how I, I don't know how I can do this, right? And um, and then the MC gets up and she's like, now it's time for the question and answer period. So all the people get up, the guy from Emergency USA, the guy from Veterans Against the War, and, and, and the girl who had been raped, get up. And they take questions from the audience. 
And um, and everybody, uh, everyone in the audience, they're, they're these vets, right? And they all start to get up and they start to tell their stories and they start to pour their hearts out about the war and everything. And I'm just like, this is not good, dude. This is so not good. Like, I don't, I like my, I'm like, my heart is pounding in my chest. And I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, and so then I see my stupid friend. <laughs> <laughs> she is squalling on a piece of paper like, we need to get the entertainment going. And I'm like, no. Do you know what I mean? No. And she, before I can even do anything, she gets up. It's like in slow motion. I'm like, no. She gets up. She gets to the front. She hands the note to the girl, who, the woman, she's not a girl, who's doing the emceeing. And I'm just like, oh my god. And I see this woman get the note. And um, she, she gets really flustered, right? She's like, oh, OK. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. And so, you know, and so everyone's still testifying, whatever, and then... Um, <laughs> and then this old man gets up, and he's, uh, he's a Vietnam vet. And when I was a kid, they weren't that old, right? They were like my parents' dads or whatever, and my friend's dad's parents, whatever. And he's like old, this old man with the king, he gets up, and he starts to talk about being in the, in the war, and it's just like so heart-wrenching, right? And this MC starts to rush him oh. because she's got this note, right? She's like, okay, and you know, come on, the guy is like so old. He's like, he's like the sweetest old man. And I'm thinking, oh my God, could you just let the man finish? Can you just let him finish talking? Just let the man talk. Just let the old man with the cane like finish what he's got to say, you know? And then so she's rushing him and she goes, well, okay, we need to get those. And then she goes, we, okay, we need to get the entertainment going. <laughs> <laughs> so, I didn't know what to do, right? And basically it's all downhill from there, because uh, the first thing is the girl gets up and plays the ukulele, and oh, you guys, it's really bad. <laughs> and then I got up and I was like, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know, I was like, do I do my set, or do I throw my friend under the bus and be, just be like, which is what I probably should have done. But I was like, you know, just say, you guys are great, what you're doing here is wonderful, like, thank you so much, and like, have a good night. <laughs> <laughs> and, you, know, honestly, you guys, clearly the event was over, you know, when she said, put that note up, like, you know, we, we were running long already, it was like, it was like 9 o'clock, and we were supposed to get up at 8, and it was like, everyone should just do the silent auction and go the fuck home, you know, like, uh, so, okay, I did my set. Bad decision, all right? I could tell. It was like really bad. Um, and then, after me, I sit down, and then the guy gets up to play the gay anthems, and he's like, he's just like, he's not a veteran, right? he's just like a guy, and he's like, I've heard gay anthems, and he starts playing, like, it's okay to be gay. Like, none of us should have been there. <laughs> we were not appropriate for that at all. It was so humiliating. So I sit back down in my seat, right, while this guy's playing. <laughs> down my seat and my friend she gives me ice she doesn't sit she doesn't look at me she doesn't this is how bad it went right I, i'm not even gonna tell you the jokes i did it was, it was so humiliating but, like talking about my dad who's like a coke addict like it was like really wrong <laughs> and dealer <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it wasn't good and um so i see my dad she doesn't say anything to me she doesn't Talk to me, she doesn't look at me after the after you know, after the entertainment was done, then you know, it was time for the silent auction. And she doesn't the rest of the time she doesn't say like thank you for coming. <laughs> Nothing, right? Oh, so I was just like, man. So I'm just trying, I'm just got my stuff and I was like, I'm just gonna try to get out of here, you know, without any incident, just try to sneak out, right? So I'm leaving the door to the church and I've got my head down, <laughs> I've got my hat on, I'm just like, please God, just let me get over this, right? And I hear a voice behind me say, thanks for the jokes. <laughs> and I turn around, and it's the rape girl, you guys! <laughs> Girl, who had been through so
so much, it suddenly dawned on me that she was feeling sorry for me. <laughs>